Everything in the world I could possibly need is in these boxes. I've got a lot of fish. It's too big for this. Oh, look, this, we, we, I found this at the market last time, a wiggly one. Maybe here instead of the mermaid. Is that too much? I don't know. I don't care if it's too much. So I think she is a watermelon mermaid and she's going to be surrounded by fish. <laughs> so that's why not? That works. I can't tell you how much fun this is. And the fun is in the getting the materials, the fun is in making it, and then the real fun is wearing this stuff out in public when it's all done. Listen, honey, I'll wear anything around my neck. So much fun. <laughs> I was a, a food writer, but I was correcting the proofs of my 27th cookbook. My hand picked up a marker and drew this folk art mermaid on a piece of paper. I was always told that I wasn't good at art, always loved color, always loved to dress colorfully, always colored my house to the embarrassment of my mother. But suddenly, in that nanosecond, I was an artist. I, I am embarrassed how much kimonos, and I make them myself or I have friends make them for me. And I keep them in Narnia. This is gorgeous. It's, they're all gorgeous. Sometimes I just think, what am I going to wear? It's all so fantastic. Well, let's see. One, ah, here we go. This has my garlic goddess on it. <laughs> okay, a little red stripe. It's temporary. Right, fish and watermelon, a Mexican face. Over the top? <laughs> Thank you.
They're lovely. How old are you? I'm 81. Yeah, me too. Oh, right. <laughs> Snap. Sisters. <laughs> Sisters. Sister. <laughs> it's a great age. It's not bad, is it? Right, I'm looking for my shopping. Oh, there it is. No, at this point in our lives, as long as we can still stand up and think, yes. we can do anything we want. The whole world is open to us. Yeah, it's very That's inspiring. It's me! <laughs> I'm so glad to see you! Likewise. Okay, I need, a, I need a picture of this whole thing happening. Oh my God, what have you done? So this is what I think. I think we're going to have homeless people coming into the gallery and squatting in her dress. This is made with a duvet. I can't get over it. Oh, the other side. Yeah, that works. Do you have a headpiece for her? Yes, yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I had some rings, but I don't think it's going to. Look at her face. Yeah. Because it's so the mannequin's big, face. She says, Oh my god, what's happening here? I didn't sign up for this. I was working for the Gap. Look where I am now. <laughs> I think you should be proud. Well, I'm so happy you're happy. Of course I'm happy. And it's great. I think you, you, you pushed me to do it. Hello. Lovely to see something so sort of life enhancing. You, oh, thank you. That, well, that's a very nice thing to say. Thank you. Life enhancing. Life, life enhancing. So what? much color. This is life enhancing. Of course. It's all about color. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about color. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not very practical. It's amazing. And so many tiny details. Yeah, and you look and look and look and look, and you'll still see more things. Mm -hmm. I'm making art almost every day, and you never know exactly what it's going to be like. I mean, it's just so exciting. And I have no training, which is great. I'm an outsider artist. I have nothing to do with the mainstream art world. And if you think my art is not art, if you think my art is crap, if you think, I don't care. I am doing what I do because I love it. It doesn't come from the head. It doesn't come from the heart. It comes from the gut. I am the art, and the art is me. There is no separation.